you know, how much should I pay for a wedding ring? What the old rule of thumb is like a percentage of your salary. I would absolutely say it should be at least 300% of your monthly salary. That's accurate. That's <laughs> <laughs> My name's John, and we are affiliated with Manly Bands. What we want to do is just kind of put together a cool podcast where we're dudes who have questions about weddings and getting married, and and hopefully we can bring some value and fun to, to the dudes listening. Dudes are probably guys who don't think about weddings a lot. L- looking back at my experience, I didn't really think a lot about my wedding day at all. Yeah, I feel like guys in general, it's less of a thing for guys when it comes mm-hmm. to the planning, and, I, and I'm not saying it should be like that. Right. I think it would be great. I'm sure... Our wives would certainly have appreciated if we were much more involved. And it wasn't a, a lack of desire to do that. And right. as a dude, like, I I mean, I always wanted to get married, but I never really planned the day. Or... And I remember when I was engaged, you know, for that year uh, or whatever it was, uh, my wife would be out with her sisters or her, or, or her mom, and they'd be, oh, yeah, we're shopping for bridesmaids dresses. Meanwhile, I'm on the couch with my buddy playing Xbox. Uh, well, yeah, g- great job, honey. In most cases, as a guy, yeah. hey, cool. Is that is is that a tux? I'll just wear that. So hopefully, you know, this podcast, mm-hmm. the conversations that we're going to have, hopefully we can give some guys some insight into yeah. our experiences and things we've yeah. gone through. One question we get a lot, you know, how much should I pay for a wedding ring? Mm-hmm. What the old rule of thumb is like a percentage of your salary. You know, as someone who owns a wedding band company, I would absolutely say it should be at least 300% of your monthly salary should go to the men's ring. That's accurate. That's... <laughs> no, no, no. That that's crazy. Yeah. You know, but I do think I do think it should be something that you connect with. Yeah. I think that it, it this is a ring that you're hopefully going to have in your life the rest of your life, whether you wear it every day or a, a lot of our customers and a lot of us here at Manly Bands, you know, we have a, a selection, a collection, mm-hmm. if you would, kind of like watches, where we have one for date yep. night, one for going to the gym, um, and whatnot. But um, I, uh, I I feel like it's it's more than an afterthought, or it should be. Yeah. I mean, right? It's an important thing, um, but it doesn't need to be super extravagant either. Right? No. Like my gold band, my wife actually picked it out. But today, that's not as important to me or to her. In yeah. fact, she bought me a manly band long before I even worked at manly bands. Oh, and nice. it was it was it was an antler ring with uh, with with a black zirconium base. It was a black ring with yeah. antler in it, which is so not traditional. Yeah. Uh, How did she know that you would you would have liked that? Is that just one of your hobbies? You, do you like hunting? Or? Yeah, I, yeah, I, I do like to get out. I like hunting. I like the outdoors. I just mm. you know we live in Utah, a beautiful place where there's yeah. mountains and there's deer everywhere. Yep. And, and so just that ant- and antler is very striking. It's very different. Mm. And as soon as we saw it, uh, she was like, I have to get this form. That was 14 years into marriage that she that she was okay with making that change. I, I think a lot of guys, you know, maybe they, they don't want a traditional gold mm-hmm. ring. They want something that better connects with their personality. And I think once they realize, you know, hey, the the ring itself is what represents your commitment. Yeah. But the materials in the ring and the, the style of the ring, you know, make it something that you like. You want to look at right. it, you get excited about. Maybe it's a conversation right. piece. Like, I think it's okay to, for guys to get excited about their wedding band. Yeah, and your wedding band can tell a story. And, yeah. and, and that's one thing that, you know, I think all wedding bands can tell a story. But sometimes some of them, like you said, are they can be a conversation piece. And, it, like, um, I was literally in line a, a few weeks ago getting, getting, like, a hot chocolate or something. And someone stopped me. I was wearing I was wearing my antler ring. And the, the person taking my order was like, that's a really cool ring. And I got a chance to tell the person in the drive-thru all about my wedding band. Oh, that's cool. I, I was like, oh, yeah, let me tell you all about it. That's you cool. Know, uh, yeah. and, and so, yeah, there's an opportunity to, to talk about that personal experience that, or, or, or how you've tailored that to become a personal experience yeah. over the years. Like, yeah, I used to have a, a gold band, which is fine. Uh, but today I'm wearing this band because, you know, and so, so yeah, I, I agree. There's, there's lots of ways that, that you can make it personal. Yeah, no, and I, and I think that's super important for a guy. Um, and, and, you know, just with all these different options, just back to kind of that, that core question that we get a lot is, well, how much should I pay for my, yeah. my men's wedding band? Um, how do you recommend people go about doing that? That's all on you. That's all on you in terms of what's your look, what's your style, what's your feel, what's your budget. Don't stress yourself financially, especially during a wedding, right? Yeah. The men's band was one of the last things we got. My wife did buy it, but at the end of the day, it was like, okay, how much do we have left to spend? And it yep. wasn't very much. Shop ahead of time. Mm-hmm. So if you shop ahead of time, that should give you a really good idea on your budget. And so if you know, okay, I'm getting married in a year or six months or, 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 or whatever it might be, okay, I'm going to save X amount of dollars because this is the ring I, I know I want. You can take your time. As long as you take your time, don't 
rush yourself, you won't make those mistakes in pricing or, or decisions like that. I, I think like a, a fair number would probably be, I, I don't know, I, just from our data, I'd say most dudes are, are buying rings somewhere in the three to $500 That's range. That's fair, yeah. Um, and, uh, and then there, of course, there's the more premium rings and you know you add different uh, golds and diamonds and things yeah. and the, the, the price can go up from there. I mean, yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah. yeah, and I would say kind of in that price range, like. If, if you're a consumer and, and your budget's in that three to like like five hundred dollar range, maybe even up a little bit, you should be able to come to at least manly bands, and you should be able to find almost any material that you want in that sure. price range, or at least a little bit of it. Probably not so much gold at that price range, but mm. you'll, you'll get the alternative metals for sure. That's it. Totally agree. Well, thanks so much, and Thank um, for the audience, we'll see you next time.